Hey everybody, how you doing? My name is Tony and I'm going to help you fix your Zoom audio issues today by teaching you how to enable your original sound uh, for both the cell phone version or the desktop version of the app. And we're going to do it in under four minutes. So uh, let's go. Cell phone first. Open up the Zoom app on your cell phone and you are automatically taken to the meet and chat screen. Next up, we are going to click on the settings button, which is in the bottom right. From here, we click on meeting. Now we scroll down until we see use original sound. It's disabled. We need to click on that and enable it. Click back. Now lower left meet in chat brings us back to this menu. Top left new meeting. Click on that. We will start a meeting. The meeting loads up and now we're looking at the bottom right on the three little dots where it says more. Click there. Now select enable original sound and it is turned on. You're good to go. We're all set. Uh, keep in mind that you do need to enable the original sound each Zoom meeting that you host or join from this menu. We are done for the cell phone side of this. All right, let's get the desktop version of the app set up. I am opening Zoom. Yes, it's super bright. Windows users, we do not have a dark mode version of the software, unfortunately. Uh, top right, settings cogwheel, clicking here. I'm going to go down three to audio. Ideally, you have your input and outputs already set up. What we are going to adjust right away is we're going to unclick the automatically adjust microphone volume. Basically, we want you to have control of the output volume that you're sending. If you need to test it, click on test mic, speak in there. If it's too loud, turn down your slider here. It's up to you. We are skipping suppressed background noise. Here is what we're here for. 100% under the music and professional audio, we are clicking show in meeting to turn on original sound. This is definitely what we need. If you want more information on what echo cancellation and stereo audio does, you can read those and turn them on. If you want, I, for me, I'm a music teacher. I like having high fidelity music mode on. Okay, I'm going to X out of here. Now we're going to fake a meeting. You can join a meeting or host a meeting. It's going to be the same process. I'm going to go into a fake meeting, loading in, loading in. I'm going to join with computer audio. Now, here's the money maker. Up in the top left, it's grayed out currently. You see it says, turn on original sound. Every meeting you join or host, you got to click it so it's blue. Then that option will be on and you'll no longer face the same audio issues that you were facing before with Zoom. All right, that's it. We're done. That was pretty simple. I mean, it's pretty obvious that we are a Zoom. Uh, we're professional Zoom enthusiasts here. Now that you know how to enable the original sound for both the cell phone and desktop versions of the apps. Um, just a reminder, though, this is for everybody in the call. It's not just the host. Anybody sending audio into the call should have this turned on. Uh, specifically useful for those of us that are teaching music. Let's say you're teaching choir or band or playing an instrument like guitar or trumpet. Um, the teacher needs it on so the student can hear a clear signal of the instrument and the student needs it on so the teacher can get a clear signal back. You can see how that would be useful in many more settings besides just teaching music. So uh, yeah, I'm glad you're here. Hopefully you got some value out of this video. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down below and I will get back to you. And uh, yeah, have a good day and thanks for watching.